guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so gate 2025 forms are now online and you can basically fill the form and uh, you can apply for gate 2025 exam so i am here to talk about the other related stuff i mean uh, all the things which you need to know before applying for this form uh, if you guys want i'll also make a detailed video of step by step form filling but right now in this video we are going to talk about the basic things which you need to know uh, important dates what is the uh, like how much you have to pay for the form what is the eligibility criteria how you can apply uh, for two subjects at the same time and all the related stuffs okay so we'll be talking about that in detail so first of all this is the official website of gate 2025 and uh, this particular exam is being conducted by iit Roorkee this time so if you don't know about it every year certain iit or iisc they take the responsibility of conducting gate exam and this year uh, iit Roorkee has taken this responsibility so i'll give you a link to reach out to this particular page on uh, the link will be in the description of this video you can directly come up over here now there are different links over here like apply online updated gate exam C, uh, cities and all you can click on view all to see all these links at the same place so all the things are over here okay so i have downloaded these things and i'll be showing you one by one that what are the things which you are going to get okay so first of all uh, this is the link from which you can apply we'll talk about it in a later part of this video but yeah these are the set of exam cities in which you can uh, fill the form so you can see that there is no international center for gate exam if you are a foreign or Indian national who is interested to appear for the gate exam, then you have to travel to India and appear for the test. Okay, they have made this thing very clear for you. There are different zones which are given. In each zone, there, there are different cities mentioned. Like uh, zone 1 is ISC Bangalore and the, the states are here and the cities in which you will be having centers for that particular state uh, for that particular zone so likewise whatever iit is near to you so this is how they have arranged everything uh, the iit which is near to you let's say you live nearby to delhi so you can click here and you will see all the states near to delhi haryana jammu and kashmir ladakh madhya pradesh new delhi itself rajasthan uttar pradesh you will have all the cities and all the centers which are uh, like these are the basically um, uh, states and these are the centers where you are going to have uh, centers or cities which are going to have examination centers okay where you can give the exam uh, so if you uh, yeah so i if you live in more other part of uttar pradesh or in the eastern part of uttar pradesh in that case you have to go to iit kanpur and here you can see there are other cities as well okay so yeah this is this is a very good way of representing all the cities where you can give this exam coming to important dates and related to gate 2025 so Form filling earlier it was supposed to start from 24th of August but they have rescheduled it and now it has form filling has started from 28th of August and uh, closing date of uh, the form filling will be on 26th of September uh, closing date of extended online registration so remember that gate provides you an extended date I don't know why they do this but yeah they do it so you have two options whether you can fill the form till 26th of September without any late fees but in some case if you forget to fill the form within 26th of September then with a certain late fees you can fill it till 7th of October but after 7th of October you cannot apply for it okay so if you have made your mind that you are willing to give this exam fill the form as early as possible don't wait for the late fees or last time hustle okay fill the form as early as possible exam dates are uh, fixed to be 1st, 2nd, 15th and 16th of February uh, subject wise dates are not announced yet so yeah you have to wait for that okay and all these exams are on weekends saturdays and sundays uh, next important link was like various different things to download i have downloaded few of them for you so one is your like poster all the relevant information is over here but i'll be talking about this in more detail so rather it's good to download the complete brochure okay so i have downloaded this information brochure you can do that again from the link which is there in the description of this video this is the first page very beautiful image of iit Rurki. yeah coming down a little bit so these are list of abbreviation let's leave that part highlights are the thing which i'm going to go through because these are important points mentioned over here first thing is that this time gate is being conducted by iit Rurki, as i already told you and you can access it through this particular link again the link is there in the description 
uh, date exam dates are first second 15th and 16th of february i already told you about it and exams will be in two sessions forenoon session and afternoon session uh, gate exam will be computer based test it's a cbt test no offline exam online exam there will be total 30 test papers that means 30 different subjects will be there and all the exam uh, and all the subjects will be in english only entirely of objective type so the paper is objective type okay there is no subjective type of answering in the paper then the number of questions include MCQs that is multiple choice questions, MSQs that is multiple selective question and NATs which is numerical answer type question. Okay, In MCQs four options one of them is going to be correct and in MSQ there will be four options but more than one can be correct for that and in NAT you have to input the value which you have calculated for that particular question. Okay. Next is that candidates are allowed to appear for one or two test papers only. You cannot ap appear for more than two test papers and two test paper combination I will be explaining you in detail in this video itself. So, don't worry about that. But yeah, you can appear for one or two subjects at the same time. Okay. Uh, then we have examination for some test paper may be held in multiple sessions. However, a candidate will be required to appear for the exam in only one of these sessions and then uh, you will be having like aggregate or percentile of that that's what you'll be getting so this is sometimes one of the subjects when there are a lot of candidates in a single subject you can have exams on the multiple dates that's what it is mentioned but for chemistry i don't think that is going to happen that is more likely for other engineering related subjects okay now comes the eligibility point which is important that a candidate who is currently studying in the third or higher year of any undergraduate degree program or has already completed any government approved degree program in engineering technology architecture science commerce arts humanities is eligible to apply for gate exam we will be discussing this point in more detail in the coming section okay so don't worry about that applications are done through online scorecard will be valid for three years remember this that once you qualify gate you can use the gate scorecard for three years so that's the validity of that uh, candidates who are studying in fifth sixth or seventh semester of their higher semesters of already completed mbbs bds bvsc or bsc uh, degrees are also eligible to appear for the gate exam okay so this is for those students who are doing uh, like bsms course in which their bsc and msc is combined together okay so for them also this is valid that if you are in fifth sixth or seventh semester you can appear for that okay the gate 2025 will be held in the several several centers i have already shown you the link you can check out whether your city falls in that center or not again important dates are here i have already discussed about it so this date has been changed so don't worry about that now it is 28th of august okay that is the new date for this but fine rest of the thing remains same application fees is important so regular period means without late fees so as i told you that there are two durations to form fill for gate exam one is with the late fees and one is without late fees so if you fill it before 26th of september you fall under regular period and if you fill it after 26th of september and before 7th of october then you have to fill it with a late fees so for uh, female candidates for sc st and pwd candidates the form is of 900 rupees whereas for other candidates it is of 1800 rupees okay so yeah it's costly uh coming to the extended period that means with the late fees so for female candidates SCST and PWD candidates the form is of 1400 rupees whereas for other candidates in other candidates you have general EWS and OBC candidate and uh, the male uh, means boys of those uh, category okay for them the fees is very high okay fine mode of exam I told you it is computer based test duration is 3 hours 30 test papers sections are generally general aptitude plus subject based Questions are of three types. I already told you MCQ, MSQ, and NATs. Uh, test abilities means what they are trying to understand is whether you recall the things, whether you know how to do comprehension, you know application of the sub topic or not, and whether you know analysis and synthesis or not. Okay. A number of questions: ten questions from general aptitude and fifty-five questions from subjects. So total sixty-five questions will be there in the exam. Distribution of marks in paper. Uh, this is for the other subjects because we are talking about chemistry specifically so cy is the chemistry code for chemistry as i said 15 marks for general aptitude and 85 marks for the subject total paper will be of 100 marks marking scheme is that question carry one marks and two marks okay so these, they will be mentioned in the exam that which question is a one mark which question is of two marks 
there is a negative marking remember this that for wrong choose an mcq there will be a negative marking one mark question the negative mark will be one three of the marks whereas for two marker question the negativity negative marks will be minus two by three uh, and for msq and nat there will be no negative mark so if you are attempting msq and nat you won't be getting negative mark even if you do it wrong okay there is no partial marking scheme for any subject so that's what they have made it very clear okay so these are the highlights i have just discussed with you one very important disclaimer which you will see throughout the information brochure is that they have mentioned it very clearly that qualifying in gate exam does not guarantee admission scholarship or job admission to any institute is fully dependent on the admitting institute criteria for education qualification similarly gate qualification does not assure public sector undertaking job as it depends on the recruitment procedure for the concerned psu no responsibility is assumed or for admission scholarship or job what they are trying to say is that their work is to conduct an exam that exam is called as gate exam and based upon the score which you are getting on the gate exam now it depends upon recruiting agencies uh, for example it depends upon institutes whether they are going to take you for phd or for scholarship or not okay so gate has nothing to do with that the institute which is going to recruit you based upon gate score is all responsible for that same goes for the job in psus so gate has nothing to provide you job or something they will just give you your score based upon this score now you can apply in different psus if you are eligible and whether they are accepting you or not so gate is just a, a exam which you have if you have qualified with good score or whatever score you have qualified it with so you have a validation from gate that you have scored this much marks now you take that validation to different places to get a scholarship or to get a job whatever thing you are using it for okay so that is a disclaimer which you will see in various places okay rest of the information is again same uh, like everywhere they have mentioned that uh, a scholarship assistant for post graduate program you can read about it i have already discussed about this many time in my videos you can watch my video where i have discussed why gate is more relevant so that thing will be clear to you over there okay um, yeah how gate will be used for employment so there are different psus many of them are mentioned over here which takes uh, like which provide job based upon uh, gate score so there is direct re re direct recruitment to group a level post in the central government also like senior field officer senior research officer these are not for chemistry student but yeah you can see that there are different possibilities in psus and some organizations like brc and other ones which take students based upon their gate score so again the disclaimer is again over here okay that gate qualification does not assure psu job as it depends on the recruitment procedure of the concerned psu gate committee is not responsible for any employment opportunity the qualified candidate must check newspaper and the other reliable source for any such information no reliability no liability is assumed for any legal obligation related to job okay so they have made this disclaimer very clear okay again same repeated uh, like information i'll take you to the most important part which is the eligibility for gate exam okay now this is something which should be very clear to you whether you are a, a eligible to apply for it or not and who is eligible to apply for it so a candidate who is currently in the third or higher year of any undergraduate degree so if you are doing bsc if you are doing bsms okay bsms or any of these okay so if you have done any undergraduate degree if you are in the third year that means in the final year of bsc okay if you are in the final year of bsc or in the uh, if you have qualified bsc then you will be in masters first year so in msc if you have done msc or if you are doing msc so first year first year second year okay when i'm saying year that means first semester second semester third fourth all the semesters are included and also those who have passed so who are eligible for this if i talk about chemistry if i make this thing uh, short and explain you so those who have done bsc who have who are in the third year or who have passed who have passed bsc okay uh, they can apply for it if you are doing msc in that case if you are in first year first year means first or second semester or second year means third or fourth semester or passed 
that means or msc passed in that case again you can apply if you are in higher education if you are already doing phd again you can apply no worries about that minimum qualification is third year of undergraduate or higher okay that's the minimum qualification which they have asked in any engineering technology architecture science commerce arts humanities in any of them you can appear for gate exam okay i think they have mentioned subject wise eligibility also uh, let me check yeah so they have mentioned over here for uh, like for bsc research or for bs qualifying degree exam is bsc post diploma four year after 10 plus two so they have mentioned that what is the eligibility criteria depending upon it okay so if you are currently in the third year or higher or already completed in that case you can apply so whatever qualification you are you have done or you are into you can come to this page of the information brochure page number seven and you can just check that whether this is the this is the page where it says description of the eligible candidates okay so you can just see that whether you are eligible or not basically i have summarized it for you okay so if you fall under this you can apply for that okay next thing is uh, test papers they have mentioned that different codes for different test papers over here you can see that you have gate life sciences uh, you have engineering sciences okay excel xy i'm telling so because in next page you will need this okay so what are the combinations which are allowed along with chemistry so if you are uh, giving the primary exam as chemistry so along with that you can give gate xe and gate xl as i was telling you that xe is for engineering sciences and xl is for gate life sciences so you can choose any of one of them if you want to do for if you want to give gate for two subjects okay in that case you can give gate chemistry plus gate life sciences or gate chemistry plus gate engineering sciences it depends upon you but uh, if you don't want to give two exams you can just give one you can just choose gate chemistry okay so that's that's how you can do that so this again one more thing is the distribution of marks how the marks are distributed i already discussed with you total chemistry exam is of 100 marks out of which 15 marks is for general aptitude and 85 marks for your subject okay examination center i already discussed so yeah again the uh, again the fees is mentioned over here how much fee you have to pay for it so that we have already discussed and i think the re the form filling is explained in the next part so that i probably will make a detailed video on that if you guys need that okay so we'll be making a separate video on step by step form filling but all the basic things which you need to know about gate is, was explained in this video if you have any particular uh, query you can ask me in the comment section below i'll try to answer you over there and i will recommend you to download this brochure download this information brochure from the gate website and try to read you of your own if you have any difficulty because everything is explained in very detail there are 167 pages in this uh, information brochure i just read all the relevant informations which you need to know while before you fill the form okay so that's it from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care